As a coach, I'm asked all the time, what sort of equipment do you need to get started boxing? Well, really, you don't need a lot. You don't have to invest a lot of money to uh, get your boxing gear. If you're going to a boxing class, for example, all you need to take is your towel and your water bottle, and I bet you the rest will be taken care of in the gym that you're going to. All right? If you're going to get your own gear and you want to work out at home, then I would recommend you get a bag, um, a medium to heavy bag. A medium bag can be maybe around 40 kilograms all the way up to 80 kilograms. But you don't have to get something very expensive. We live here in Australia and a good bag costs anything between 120 bucks um, all the way through to 200, 300 dollars. And the bags you see me using a bit later on cost about that, 200, between 200 and 300 dollars. Now that's probably the most expensive thing you'll ever have to invest when you're, uh, when you're starting out boxing training. Another thing that you will need is a set of skipping ropes. Now, as I mentioned in the book, The Master Nat of Boxing, all right, there's different styles of uh, skipping rope you can get. I've got three here. They're all PVC, all right, so they go pretty fast. And you can also get leather ones. You can also get um, uh, the, the ones you got at school, you know, they're, they're not made of anything. I think it's, they're made of rope um, that you would hang your washing up with. They're no good. You want something either PVC or leather. I've not got any leather ropes here with me just now, but the three ropes that I do have have got different handles. I just want to talk a little bit about the handle, all right? <clears throat> now, this one here, you can see these two are quite similar, all right? So they're not big chunky to hold in your hands. So once you, if you're skipping for a long time, your hands tend to cramp up, all right? The reason your hands cramp up is because you've constantly got a grip and you're moving your wrist and your forearm. That is totally natural. Don't think it's not. Okay, and then if the smaller ones, you don't like that, you can get these bigger hand handles. I prefer the smaller one, but these bigger handles gives you a bit more to grip onto and uh, <clears throat> doesn't make you go any faster or any slower. So that's just skipping ropes. You're going to need skipping ropes for most of your warm-ups as a boxer, all right? It helps you become more agile. It warms up all your, all your muscles and it warms up all your joints. So it's very important that you do learn how to skip. Now, jump on to the skipping lesson and uh, you'll see me doing it in many different ways. Um, <clears throat> on YouTube, I think I went through maybe 10 different styles of skipping. All right? There is no end to what you can do skipping. You can use it as a warm-up and you can also use it as a conditioning uh, session for 20, 25 minutes and just go hard. All right? But more on that a bit later. Next thing you're going to need is, before you start punching the bag, all right? it's mentioned here in the Master in the Arts, Boxing and mastering the art of boxing is hand wraps. Now, there's different styles of hand wraps. You have a normal cotton, um, solid hand wrap, and you have these type, which I much prefer, which are more in a Mexican style hand wrap, which are elastic. All right, so they stretch a little bit, so you can get them around <coughs> and make them a bit more secure in your hand. They come in all sorts of different colours. You know, here's a camouflage colour. You got red, you got black. Doesn't matter. And um, the girls even got pink. Right? You're going to have to have a good set of hand wraps, okay, if you're going to protect yourself and set off in your training with the best possible start. Have a look at putting on your hand wraps from this DVD. All right, now, I prefer to wear 12-ounce um, gloves in training, and all my boxers will wear 12-ounce gloves in training. Um, <clears throat> you can get different styles of gloves, and you get some which lace up the middle here, which are great for fighting. But in training, it's better to have a Velcro glove because you can put them on easily with your hand wraps and you can do it individually without having your coach come across and have to glove you up. <clears throat> all right, and even with your glove, when it's tricky to move around, all right, and hold things when you've got your gloves on, you can pull and you can fasten securely with a Velcro glove. With laces, you've got to use your teeth and you've got to fasten, it's a pain. All right, so these gloves are 12 ounce gloves. All right, uh, when you go on to sparring, we use 16 ounce gloves because they've got a bit more padding, they're a bit heavier. So, uh, in theory, it's not so sore when you get punched. Why would you want to be in pain when you're in training? All right, so these are 12 ounce Velcro gloves. You can get them from any store which sells boxing equipment. And these days, Boxing equipment is sold all over the world 
in department stores, online, they're very easy to get. All right, another style of gloves that you can use when using the, the, the bag is this style here, the old bag glove. They don't weigh very much, they don't offer much protection, but they certainly do serve a purpose um, in strengthening your hands. So even though I prefer this for my boxer when he's training, because if he breaks his hands, if he hurts his hands, he's out for weeks, with these, you do strengthen your hands a little bit more. All right, so it's entirely up to you. They're not very heavy, but uh, still, if that's all you've got, that's good. So pretty much that's all you need, all right, for, um, for training purposes, if you're going to train on your own or if you're going to train with a friend. Later, we'll get on and we'll talk about sparring, all right? So you'll need a gum shield, you'll need a head guard, and you need someone else to be watching and supervising with you, all right? It's all very well wanting to box, but you've got to be safe, okay? One punch, too many to the, to the head can uh, cause serious damage. You've got to be careful in what you do. I, want to, I, will, I will talk to you about sparring a bit later, but for the training, that's all you need. Everything you need to know about training is in this book, which I've printed off and we'll go through today, all right? Through all the punches, all the equipment you need, <clears throat> different combinations, and everything you need to know, everything you need to know about training is covered in the Mastering the Art of Boxing book.